Yes, everybody, welcome to an episode of United Twins Extra. It's myself, CM. My twin bro, Cappy, is going to be on the match reaction in a couple days' time from now. Uh, but I will be here for the watch along at 4.15 UK time. So be there. Manchester United versus Newcastle. And I'm just want to do a light video to speak about a couple things in the end of the day because today is very important for the fans for the players, for the manager, for everybody associated with Manchester United because the last time we won a trophy was in 2017 and I know a lot of people probably say, oh, you're entitled, this and that, we haven't done this, but when you look at the way Manchester United was built up in the eras of Sir Alex Ferguson and even before that, years before that, we have built up that reputation and that pedigree to the point where if we're not competing for a trophy in a season, it is a failure. And unfortunately, in the last decade or so, those standards have been dropped severely because of underachievement, because of neglect from the ownership, from the Glazers who are still trying to torment the fan base and uh, and provide possibilities of, of staying on and receiving the investment from elsewhere instead of just fully selling the club altogether. But that's another conversation within itself. We're here to stick to the cup final. Both teams hungry, hungry to win. When you look at the Barcelona game, both legs, the adversities that we had to go through and we still were able to jump over that hurdle. And that was important for me because I'm looking at the Carabao Cup final. I'm saying, listen, this is an important game. At first, I looked at the Barcelona game as even more important. And I still believe it was a little more important than this game today, even though this is huge. Because we had to get past that hurdle first. We had to jump over it. Not walk around it. Not trip and fall. We had to jump over it and clear it fully. And we did that in both legs. We went in behind in both legs. You know, the Marcus Alonso go in the first. Robert Lewandowski in the, in the second leg. And we were still able to come back despite not playing great first halves. We went in behind in the first few minutes of the second half in the first leg, in the first half in the second. And we were able to both come back. But I think today we're going to have to start strong in the first half. I trust Ten Hag will make the changes if we don't. But I, it would just be good to start well to be up for a cup final from the very first minute. And I feel like the players, both sets of teams, will do that, to be honest. There's a large amount of togetherness with the squad nowadays. When I look at the past, the likes of the Europa League final, where we, where we fell and we failed to live up to the bidding, live up to the moment, maybe because of pressure and other factors, of course, but we failed to live up to expectations. And... One thing that has always screamed out to me since that moment was the Marcus Rashford interview after that, where I can't say word for word, but he was basically saying, look, everybody in this team is trying to get back to that level. They want to be at the very top. And for whatever reason, that wasn't the case at the time under the likes of Ole, for the most part. And even more as time goes by, I start to think maybe that was the case. Maybe some of, I'm not going to say all, but some of those players are trying their hardest to get back to that level, but they don't have the guidance. They don't have the tutelage. They don't have the experience in order to know how to navigate in those moments of adversity. And it was clear because anytime we were faced with a true moment, I'm not talking about we're in the league, a manager's rumoured to get sacked and you need to win a game. We're talking about semi-finals, cup finals, those true moments where sometimes you're faced with moments of, of adversity and no word from your manager, nothing like that can change the situation. But the people that are on the pitch, the 11 players that are on the pitch can only affect those moments. So maybe now under a new manager in Eric Ten Hag, the coach and stuff, the players that have been brought in, the likes of Rafa Varane, Casemiro, Lissandro Martinez, who has had experience of winning now as well. Maybe the mentality of those players has been just what the rest of the squad needed in order to be a lot more confident and expressive in those scenarios. And 
I can't wait for today because I feel like this will be another example of that. I'm really excited for today and let me know how you're feeling as well in the comment section below. But one of the final words I want to add in the end of the day is that when you are in a cup final, a lot of pressure seems to get added on to the game itself because it is the final game of the tournament and the trophy is literally there for the taking. When you walk out, what is in the middle in between both teams? It's the trophy. It's the trophy. And you look at it, you glance at it, and for a second you start to think, how would it be if by the end of the game, we are the team lifting that trophy? We are the ones with the gold medal placed around our neck. But sometimes you have to erase those memories before the 90 minutes and play in the moment. Because that's where the pressure comes from. When you start to overthink, when you start to think far too ahead and you forget about where you are and what your surroundings are, it's how mistakes are made. And I feel like to remove the pressure, you have to remember, especially in this cup, whether it's the first round or the final game, every game has the same stakes. The trophy is up for grabs. Now, of course, this is the final game and whoever wins it will win the trophy. But whether you're in the first round or the third round, whatever. If you lose, no trophy. If you win, the chance the chances get higher and higher. And now the chances are at its highest for both Manchester United and Newcastle. But I think that is how you manage the pressure. You remember that in the end of the day, we were one of the two best teams in this tournament and we were able to get through multiple moments of adversity in order to get here. So why does that stop now? Why does the pressure increase now? Of course, those moments have butterflies in your stomach and it provides the nerves like no other. Trust me, uh, I'm not going to say I've been there, but in other scenarios when it comes to football, we've all been there if we've played football or done other things in life. <laughs> you know, it could be anything. It doesn't even have to be sports related. But it's about how you manage yourself, how you're able to bring yourself back down to a certain level where you can act with composure and you can succeed in the best possible way. You can be the best possible version of yourself. And that is what I'm hoping we're going to see from the players today. And I feel like we have the team, we have the personnel, and most importantly, we have the growth. And there is much more growth to go in the end of the day. But we have grown from the start of this season, where things look bleak, up until now, where we're still in every single competition. Some people saying we're in the title race, kind of shying away from that right now. We're still in the FA Cup. We've gone through a massive massive two legs against Barcelona and even though we're still just in the round of 16 in Europa League I feel like that game was even bigger to certain extents to prove to the players that they can do it they can compete because don't get it wrong Barcelona even though they didn't have a lot of fun in the Champions League they're one of the best teams in Europe right now top of La Liga they hadn't lost in 18 games I believe phenomenal side and love what Xavi's doing over there but Manchester United were able to get the better of them so now hopefully we can carry that over to today where we have the belief we have the strength we have the swagger we have the ability to get the better of Newcastle United who have had a really good season up to this point and this cup final proves it even more they've had a really good season up to this point they will look to frustrate Manchester United they will try to slow down the pace of the game. They will try to defend at certain points and catch us in the counter-attack. But it's about how switched on we are, how ready for the moment we are, so that when we have our opportunity in front of goal, when we have our opportunity to prevent, to pinch back possession and counter-attack and, and create attacks of our own, we make the most of it. We are clinical in those areas. That is what will take us to lifting the trophy later on so ladies and gentlemen let me know your score predictions in the comments let me know how you're feeling good luck to the players to the coaching staff and to the fans enjoy yourself at Wembley and behave yourself but enjoy yourself
Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you later for the watch along. Be there for 15 GMT and also the match reaction in a couple days time with myself and my twin bro, Cappy. Until the next time, I'll see you lot sooner. Bit.